Uh, my paper was uh, philanthropy and education, what's the cost? And I was presenting some um, ideas on what might be the cost of uh, mega philanthropic activity in education with regard to developing countries specifically. And uh, there was a number of uh, uh, points that I made. Uh, firstly, that um, so-called checkbook activism uh, and so-called super citizens uh, may lead to uh, distorted policy and practice insofar as perhaps those people with the, the most financial resources could have the loudest voice in terms of public policy making. Uh, one consequence of that may be a lack of policy fit, that is to say perhaps um, a less than optimum understanding of uh, in-country policy problems. Um, another consequence might be that the effectiveness mm -hmm. of, of policy implementation might well be jeopardised because there's a lack of fit to the policy problem that is ostensibly being addressed. And of course there's the issue of sustainability as well what happens in the long term when the funding um, dries up or priorities change of uh, the philanthropic uh, entity. Another, another issue that was mentioned was basically the challenges to governance in public policy making, um, transparency, accountability and responsibility, um, how are these issues addressed when a lot of money goes into developing and implementing public policy um, in parallel sometimes to the nation state. Ultimately, perhaps a challenge to national sovereignty insofar as the government, which is accountable for public policy, may well be sidelined by other policy actors and entrepreneurs. Some tentative conclusions um, that, uh, that I suggested were um, the fact that um, uh, developing countries may well be um, subject to penetration by external policy actors, um, including uh, philanthropic entities, um, and that um, obviously these may challenge the accountability and transparency uh, of public policy making and implementation, and that um, maybe, just maybe, to coin a phrase, we could be witnessing a form of uh, what's been termed philanthro-colonialism. Thank you.